someone else. Your accent sounds funny. Who are you running from? I run from Travis. You trying to put me in some chains? You're on the way slave. What is your name? No, 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 I'm not a slave. I'm a free woman. I help the slaves get to the north where they can get free. I'm an abolitionist. My name is Naomi. If you help free the slaves, then who helps you when you're in a dire situation such as you find yourself now? Other abolitionists. There are people from both sides, both black and white. They fight for the freedom of the enslaved. You ain't from these parts. I suspect you not, because if you were, you'd probably turn me over to those white folks already. You correct me, Armin. I'm not from this part. I'm from Russia. Well, I'm far away from here. You can say I'm just passing through this part. If you take my hand, I will help you. How do I know you're not trying to set me up with some trap? You don't. You just have to trust me. This way. Thank you for your kindness. It's very rare in these parts indeed. You're welcome, my army. I'm sorry. But what is your name? I'm Angelica. Nice to meet you, Miss Angelica. <laughs> no, just Angelica. Very well. Angelica it is. I must say what has been done to your race is very wrong. I know what it feels like to be frowned upon and be hated only because you exist. You do? Yes, I do. I can help you give freedom to your people. But true freedom. Do you know what true freedom is? To be able to live the life I choose? No. The true freedom is power. A power so strong that no man will ever be able to enslave you. A power where sickness nor death itself could ever touch you. I can give you this power, but that is a price. But I don't have any money. The little money I do have is for me to try to get something to eat. It's a long journey to the north. It's not currency I speak of. The price is your soul. But in return, you will be immortal. You will never get sick or grow old. My soul? Yes, that's the price you must pay. I offer you a choice that my maker did not give me. What do you choose? Oh. Um, uh, I, I accept this offer. Then I should give you the dark gift that will help break your people out of bitter bondage. Ah! <laughs> 
welcome back. Everything looks different. Yeah, nothing has changed. No, my friend. Everything has changed. Somebody always has to knock when I'm at the good part. This is a really nice place you got here. Thank you. Would you like something to drink? I have some fresh blood that I imported from overseas. I always keep it at just the right temperature. I'll pass for now. Okay. Maybe later. Well, I must know what brings you around here. The last vampire I expect to see at my doorstep is you. I just needed another vampire to speak with, that's all. Come on, we both know there are many other vampires you could talk to, so why me? You're not only wise, but you're also one of the oldest vampires who still walks the earth. Besides, you respected by all the covens, both here and overseas. And most importantly, your tongue always speaks the truth, regardless if it's good or bad. Well, when you put it that way, it's quite easy to see why you chose me, so how can I help you? I don't know, it's just lately I've been feeling like I'm on the wrong side of the fence. We're vampires. We do what we must to survive just like any other creature on this planet. We're not good or bad. We just are. There aren't any sides for us, just survival. Yeah, but that's something that never bothered me before, being a vampire. I didn't choose to be a vampire. My village was destroyed, my family was slaughtered, and my soul was taken away from me. Yeah, I know, by Eva Santiago. You knew Eva. She was a cruel, cold, ruthless vampire in her time, but even she was able to change. She was a bitch and she still is, that's just not fair. Angelica, life was and is not fair. There are plenty of vampires walking around out there that had no choice in the matter. It is selfish to think that you're the only one. We all feel a little lost at times. Some vampires don't have the energy to survive hundreds, yet alone thousands of years. It's just too painful. I'm not trying to commit suicide or anything like that, so don't worry. Perhaps the blood of a young aristocrat or one of those Wall Street guys will make you feel better. Or even better, the blood of a small child. No, thank you. All I can think about is, I want my soul back. Maybe you already have your soul. How oh, you figured that? It's like in The Wizard of Oz. They all go in search to gain something they feel like they don't have, and only yet to discover that they had it the whole time. The lion had the courage, the chin man had a heart, the scarecrow had the brains, and you, Dorothy, my dear, Maybe you already have your soul. I've never seen The Wizard of Oz. Well, that's a damn shame. You do know that just because we're dead doesn't mean we can't enjoy life. 
So what are you telling me that you actually sit here all day and watch movies? Not all day. Just for a few hours until the sun goes down. It beats the hell out of sleeping in a coffin all day. Well, I'm sure. You should come over sometime and we can watch The Wizard of Oz. Or whatever else you desire. I'll keep that in mind. Listen, you sure you don't want a nice cup of warm blood? It's straight from Paris. <laughs> no, thank you. But I do have one last question before I head out. What is that? If I decide to leave the coven, what will happen to me? I can tell you nothing good will come from that. Angelica, we vampires are funny creatures. Breaking your oath to the coven will most likely lead to your own destruction. I understand. And be aware that once you leave, you could never come back for any help or support. They will turn their backs on you and you're gonna be truly alone. If I were to leave, would you turn your back on me? No. Would you want me dead? No, I would not. Besides, I don't interfere in any vampire affairs any longer. I merely offer my assistance to the leaders when they require it. Okay, well, uh, thank you, Sebastian, but I gotta go now. Well, please don't take another six decades to come see me again. I won't, I promise. By the way, why do you have glasses on? Um, I don't know. It just makes me feel more human. You're right. I don't really need them. Don't be afraid to be your true self. Okay, bye, Sebastian. Goodbye. Blythe. No need to introduce yourself. I know who you are, Angelica. What was in the dark? Why can't I move? A little something I came up with. A toxin strong enough to paralyze a vampire. The paralysis will wear off over time. What is it that you want from me? We will get to that. But first, I have a few questions for you. Like? Do you know a man that went by the name of Tiberius? Tiberius? Answer my question! You were stronger than I thought. The toxins shouldn't start wearing off yet. You will discover that I'm full of surprises. Answer the question. Do you know the man that I speak of? I do. And? And I killed him a long time ago. What is it to you? One day I came home to my brother and sister dead and my mother being fed on by a bloodthirsty beast. I watched in horror as it killed my mother. It then turned its attention towards me, lunged at me, and bit me. When my father discovered what he had done, he destroyed himself. But unlike my siblings and mother, I did not die that night. I turned into something else. I lost my entire family and my soul. Sad story, but what does it have to do with me? My father's name was Tiberius. It was you that turned him into a bloodthirsty beast. I'm sorry what happened to you and your mother, but the truth is, Tiberius was a bastard, and he got what he deserved. <sighs> Fuck you! 
You have your answers now, what? I do have some dignity, and I will not kill you while you sit here paralyzed by my toxin. You would do better to make peace with the situation, and just keep moving forward. <laughs> On second thought, you die. You shouldn't be able to move yet. I told you, we're full of surprises. You will die. <laughs> Lucky for you tonight, I'm turning my life around. But if you return, I will kill you. You will pay for what you have done. I know a lot about revenge, trust me. Don't let it consume you. Just let it go. How was your night? Well, that was an interesting night. Did you learn anything? Yeah. I've learned that I'm the very same thing I've been fighting all along. We're all committed sins on one person or another. And in some people's stories, you're a villain, and in some, you're a hero. I like it better when I'm the hero of the story. And if you learn something new, that's a good night in my book. Yeah. Yeah. So, are you ready to be blown away? Yes, I am.